Hello and uh, welcome to another video in this uh, updated series on effects for the 5th edition rule set in uh, Fantasy Grounds uh, Unity. Um, and in this video we're going to be looking at the uh, custom uh, special tag. Um, now a couple of videos ago we had a look at the if and the if t uh, tags and the custom tag is used with these. So if you have a look at the uh, wiki here we've got the if and if t and down here we've got this uh, special custom tag. So I'd recommend that you have, if you haven't already done so is to watch the video on if and if t uh, since all of the information that uh, we talked about in there will apply uh, here as well. Uh, so let's get Bob up. Um, now before we actually show you the custom function I just wanted to show you the like the hunter mark spell here for example. Um, and if we just give Bob the spell, I know that Bob isn't a, a spell caster, but he's got this spell. If we get our combat tracker up, uh, we discovered in the last video um, that in a, a targeted uh, effect that you can uh, shift and uh, drag the effect onto uh, a particular um, actor on the combat tracker. And then that will mean you will only get, in this case, an extra d6 if you attack that creature. So if Bob attacks Orc 2, uh, nothing happens. But if he attacks Orc 1, then he gets the uh, extra d6 for that. So that's one way to set up the uh, Hunter's Mark in similar spells. Um, but uh, there is another way that we can do it using the custom function. And so let's uh, show you how to do that. We're actually going to need two effects for this one. Um, so we've got our uh, power group as usual, and we're just going to add action and add effect, um, and then open up the effects dialog. And our first um, effect is actually going to be a very simple one. It's just simply going to be called Hunter's Mark. Uh, and uh, that's it. Um, the Fantasy Grounds has no idea what this means. It means nothing to Fantasy Ground, so it's not going to do anything with this um, uh, effect. Uh, so it's not going to affect anything. It's not going to make any anything happen at all on its own. Uh, we're going to leave the targeting here uh, to targets because this effect is going to sit uh, on uh, Bob's target. Uh, so we can close that off and then we can start a new uh, effect in the same way. So in order to use the custom function, it needs to be used with if t or if, because basically what we're doing is we're testing here. We are looking for something which is going to be on the target, uh, or uh, if it's if t, or we're looking for something uh, that's uh, on the character if it's if. So we're going to use if t, colon as usual, and then uh, custom all in uh, capital letters. And then we're going to open brackets, and then we're going to test for Hunter's Mark. So we type that in and we close the brackets. And now this, um, what we're testing for here must be exactly the same as the effect that we already created. It has to be spelt the same. Uh, punctuation is going to be the same. Uh, Capitalisation is going to be the same. Everything has got to be exactly right. Otherwise, Fantasy Grounds isn't going to uh, find it. We're then going to end this with uh, a semicolon. And then we're going to tell Fantasy Grounds what happens if the target has the uh, Hunter's Mark effect on it. And in this case, uh, we're going to allow the uh, uh, Bob to get an extra uh, 1d6 damage uh, on the target when he makes an attack against it. So that's the effect in, in full, and that's just re reading. It's what it's saying is that if the target has this hunter's mark on it, then do an extra uh, d6 of damage, and that's all it's saying. And this effect must sit on Bob because it's uh, Bob's target. We're testing that if t is if target, so we're testing Bob's target. So it's no use having it set to targets. We have to have it set to self. Uh, and then we can close this off. So if uh, Bob is now to target uh, Orc 1, you can see he's got Orc 1 targeted, uh, we can apply this effect here. And because uh, it's set, the targeting is set to targets, 
it's applied it to the uh, orc, uh, his target. And if we now apply this effect, because it's set to self, it is now being applied uh, to Bob. So we've got everything in place now. So uh, all Bob needs to do is uh, do some damage. So if he damages uh, orc one, we can see that he gets his extra d6. Uh, but if he uh, damages orc two, then he doesn't get any extra. And that's because this orc doesn't have the uh, hunter's mark on it. So therefore the first part of this statement here uh, is false. Uh, there's no hunter's mark on orc two. So therefore, Orc 2 doesn't get uh, dealt any more damage than would normally it would normally be. So this is one use of the uh, uh, the custom special tag, um, and there's a number of other spells that it can be used for, like a uh, hexblader's curse, and, and there's a few others uh, that you'll find, and uh, you can set these up uh, in a similar fashion. But the custom function can also be used to um, really to create your own conditions, if you like. Um, let's uh, get rid of uh, this from here. Um, now, supposing that uh, you wanted to uh, create a, a new condition which wasn't in the uh, player's handbook. Uh, supposing that you wanted to create a, a condition called uh, dazed and that the dazed condition um, gave uh, the uh, person on whom the effect was uh, sitting uh, gave them a disadvantage to intelligence checks for example um, so you can do this so if we go into our effects dialog here and we'll just create a new effect or a new condition by clicking on the green button here we're just going to type in uh, dazed uh, and we'll uh, give it, let's say, uh, 10 rounds or something like that, 10 rounds. Uh, and that's as we'll close this off. So basically, we've added this to our campaign. We've just added an effect called Days to our campaign. Fantasy Grounds doesn't know what that is. It's not going to do anything with it, but um, it's, it's there and we've created it. Um, so we can now uh, close that off. Uh, and if we come to our... Uh, effects here we can come in and uh, create a new effect uh, as ever and this time we're going to use if uh, close off with a colon as ever and then we need our uh, custom tag and we need our open brackets and we need uh, to test for the dazed condition that we've just created uh, end it with the semicolon and then we need to tell fantasy grounds what happens if it finds the dazed condition uh, on uh, a particular character uh, so let's give them a disadvantage to uh, checks uh, on intelligence uh, just to, like we did in the previous video when we covered advantage and disadvantage um, the targeting here needs to be to self because we are going to be testing the character on which this uh, effect is sitting because we've used if so that tests on the, the character on which it's sitting um, and there we are we can now close that off and we can apply this effect now and it will apply to uh, Bob and if Bob is to come in here and uh, make an intelligence check then nothing happens. He just makes an intelligence check uh, as he would do normally. But if we now apply the days condition to uh, Bob by dragging and dropping it from our effects dialog, now when Bob makes an intelligence check, he's doing so with disadvantage. Uh, so this is quite a, a powerful thing, the custom function. Um, and it does allow you to do things which uh, uh, aren't in the rule set. Uh, and you can uh, create uh, new conditions, for example, or you could create uh, other kinds of scenarios where you can use the custom function with uh, uh, another effect, with a kind of made up word, um, and it will uh, make Fantasy Grounds uh, do something uh, on particular actions. Uh, so I think really that's all that uh, you need to know about it, really. Um, it's a, a fairly straightforward thing once you uh, kind of work it out. 
Um, so thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.